expansion and simplification. Simplification. So to do simplification, we just operate the like term. Example: 5x squared minus 3x plus 2x squared minus 3x. 5x squared and 2x squared are like term. So 5x squared plus 2x squared equals 7x squared. Negative 3x and negative 6x are like terms. So negative 3x minus 6x equals negative 9x. So 5x squared minus 3x plus 2x squared minus 6x equals 7x squared minus 9x. Expansion. The basic of expansion is a open parenthesis b plus c close parenthesis equals a b plus a c open parenthesis a plus b close parenthesis and open parenthesis c plus d close parenthesis equals a c plus a d plus b c plus b d example number one. 2 open parenthesis 3x minus 2 close parenthesis first 2 times 3x equals 6x then 2 open parenthesis minus 2x and 2 open parenthesis minus 2 close parenthesis equals negative 4 so 2 open parenthesis 3x minus 2 close parenthesis equals 6x minus 4 example number 2 negative 3 equals ne- negative 3x 2 times x equals 2x 2 times negative 3 equals negative 6 so it becomes x squared minus 3x plus 2x minus 6 then we simplify it so it becomes x squared minus x minus 6 expansion and simplification example 2 open parenthesis 2x plus 3 close parenthesis minus 2 open parenthesis x minus 5 close parenthesis first we expand it 2 times 2x equals 4x 2 times 3 equals 6 negative 2 times x negative 2x negative 2 times negative 5 equals 10 so it becomes 4x plus 6 minus 2x plus 10 then we simplify it. 4x and negative 2x are like terms. 4x minus 2x equals 2x. 6 and 10 are like terms. So x plus 10 equals 16. So 2 open parenthesis 2x plus 3 to close parenthesis minus 2 open parenthesis x minus 5 close parenthesis equals 2x and plus 16 today I'm going to teach you about graph of quadratic function and this is how to do the graph take note if y equals x quadrat it's open upward and has a lowest point which is the minimum point and when before that y is minus x quadrat is open downwards and has a highest point which is the maximum point and it's symmetrical which the y-axis which being the line of symmetry of graph is y is 0 example in the figures the the curve y equals x squared plus 3x minus 10 cuts the x-axis of two points a and b and the y-axis at the point calculate the coordinates of a b and c y equals 0 x squared plus 3 x minus 10 then you factor the quadratic equation which turns to x minus 2 open parenthesis x plus 5 close parenthesis equals 0 which turns to x equals 2 x equals 5 which turns to open parenthesis 2 and 0 close parenthesis and open parenthesis minus 5 close parenthesis for a and b respect
effectively and to find C you just make X equals zero which you do to the quadratic equation x quadrat plus 3 x minus 10 which turns to y 0 quadrat plus 3 0 to then turn to y equals means 0 that makes the c coordinate 0 and minus 10 then we are going to show you how to do factorization example x squared minus 5x. First, we find the highest common factor which is the variable with the least power. So the highest common factor is x. Then we divide x squared by x and negative 5x divided by x. So x squared divide x equals x and negative 5x divide x equals negative 5. So x squared minus 5x equals x open parenthesis x minus 5 close parenthesis. Factorization of AX squared plus BX plus C. A equals 1. First, we find two numbers, P and Q. When you add the numbers, you will get B. And when you multiply the two numbers, you will get C. Then we will put two parentheses. We will insert P and Q like this. Open parentheses, X plus P, close parentheses. Open parentheses, X plus Q, close parentheses. Examples x squared plus 5x plus 6 so the numbers that fits are 3 and 2 then we insert it into the parentheses open parentheses x plus 3 close parentheses open parentheses x plus 2 close parentheses always make sure that the coefficient of quadratic term which is the variable to the power of 2 must be 1 if the coefficient is negative 1 factor the negative 1 out example Negative x squared plus 7x minus 12. First, we factor negative 1 out. So we divide all by negative 1. Negative x squared divide negative 1 equals x squared. 7x divide negative 1 equals negative 7x. Negative 12 divide negative 1 equals 12. So it becomes negative, open parenthesis, x squared minus 7x plus 12, close parenthesis. Then we factor it again. Then we find two numbers such as when we add it becomes negative 7 and when we multiply it becomes 12. So the two numbers are negative 4 and negative 3. So the factors are negative open parenthesis x minus 4. So the factors are negative open parenthesis x minus 4 close parenthesis open parenthesis x minus 3 close parenthesis. Factorization of a x squared plus b x plus c. a is not equal to 0 and is not equal to 1. First, we find two numbers p and q such as p plus q equals b and p times q equals a times c. Then we will factor it like open parenthesis a x plus c close parenthesis a x plus q over a. Examples 9 f squared plus 18 f minus 16. First, we multiply 9 to negative 16 equals negative 144. Then, the 18 stays. We find two numbers when we add it becomes 18 and when we multiply it becomes negative 144. Then, we got 24 and negative 6. Then, we insert it. Open parenthesis 9f plus 24 plus parenthesis open parenthesis 9f minus 6 plus parenthesis over 9. So this is one of the case that we need to factor the denominator so that we can divide it. So we factor 9 becomes 3 times 3. It becomes open parenthesis 9f plus 24 close parenthesis open parenthesis 9f minus 6 close parenthesis over 3 times 3. Then we divide it and becomes open parenthesis 3f plus 8 close parenthesis open parenthesis 3f minus 2 close parenthesis. Hello, today I will show you how to solve quadratic equation with factorization. So the basic R is A, B equals 0, then A equals 0, or B equals 0. Example, X times X minus 1 equals 0. So in this case, A is X and B is X minus 1. So X equals 0 or X minus 1 equals 0. 
So we bought egg price is what equals zero. We ate both side by one. So we got x equals zero. So x is equal zero or one. Example two. X minus two times x plus three equals zero. So a equals x minus two and b equals x plus three. X minus two equals zero and x plus three equals zero. Then we solve the x minus two equals zero first. We add both sides which give us x equals two. Then we solve x plus three equals zero. We subtract three to both sides which give us x equals my negative three. So x can be two or can be negative three. Example three x squared minus three x minus twenty x equals zero. First we factor it so it becomes x minus seven times x plus four equals zero. Then we solve it. So x minus seven equals zero. Add both set with seven which gives us x equals seven. X plus four equals zero. Subtract four to both sides which gives us x equal negative four. So the solution are seven and negative four. Today we will learn about application of quadratic equations in real world context and this how you do it. Example, two consecutive positive even numbers are such that the sum of their squares is 164. Find the two numbers. So, let the first consecutive number be x equals x and the other be y equals x plus 2. It's x plus 2 since it's even number. And since it says sum of the squares is 164, so make the x to x square and open parenthesis x plus 2 close parenthesis 2 open open parenthesis x x plus 2 close parenthesis square then expand x plus 2 square then simplify it, simplify it with x square and 164 which the result is 2x square plus 4x minus 160 equals 0 then divide it by 2 to make it more simplified then you factor the quadratic equation which turns to x plus 10 and x minus 8. Then solve the equation and which became x equals negative 10 and x equals 8. But since it said two consecutive positive number, you put x equals 8 to the second consecutive positive number which is y equals x plus 2 returns to 10. By changing the x to 8 and add by 2 to make 10. Then the number 10 from y equals x plus 2 to make the result 8 and 10.